Today, I would like to speak a little about, about COVID, and I would like to show you the chart that COVID-19, the death rate by age. And if you look at the chart, you will see that it affects people mostly between the ages of 60 and 80, mostly at least 70 and 80. 80 plus people, 14.8 percent. 79, 8 percent. 69, 3.6 percent. This is a chart I use from Dr. Gulati. But you notice, between the ages of 0 and 10, there are no death rates. That, you know why? Because the immunity is so strong in these people. And when the immunity is so strong, and why people in the old age dies? Because their immunity gets less. Now what does this virus do? I, I did a picture like this to you before. The virus invades the cell, as you can see from number one, how it, it has, remember I showed you that spikes that it has? It inv spikes, it inv invades the cell, then it goes into the nucleus of the cell where it gets incorporated into something called DNA. I don't want to get too, too medical. Then the DNA start, look at number three, is starting to make copies of the virus. I will make copies of the virus, and then if what happens to the cell, the cell eventually bursts. And when it's, look, at, look at the next slide. The cell, that's number four, the cell, the cell, number four, look at it. The cell bursts. And when the cell bursts, lots of viruses are released. And then they go and invade other cells. Once that is happening, then your immune system starts to fight it. And that is why I spoke a lot about immunity, your white cells. The next slide will show you where the white cells attack the virus. But not only the white cells, all your immune system comes into, into being then. And you must get your immune system up. Again, I want to repeat, you get your immune system up by less stress, less anxiety, pray, I don't want to go to the, all the chem, chem, chemistry. When they spray this food, that when it goes into your body, it decreases your immune system. Vegetable oil, decrease your immune system. Use only coconut oil. Use uh, this, uh, avocado oil. These are the oils that you must use, and olive oil. Use this. These are the oils you must use. And also, to keep that immune system up, try not to use colored, colored, uh, where they, where, not the colored fruits, but colored, where they, where they use artificial colors. Artificial colors, like, you know, Gatorade and all these things have artificial colors. Those colors, when they go to your system, they, broke, they break up into small particles and they depress your immune system. So your immune system is very important. And there's where the white cell comes in. The white cell attacks the virus and all the immune system and they try to see whether it can prevent the virus from taking you over. So what are some of the symptoms of COVID-19? In uh, I compare them with uh, the symptom of COVID, the symptom of common cold, the symptoms of flu, and the symptoms of, they're supposed to be allergies. Allergies. And what they are, you can see, the symptom you get is fever, which is common in all except common cold. You get a dry cough, you can see it's very common in COVID. Shortness of breath is very common in COVID. It is not common in flu. It is not common in common cold. But you can get it in allergies. Headaches. You get some, some severe headaches with COVID. Aches and pains. People with COVID, if you speak to them, they will tell you they can hardly get up. 
I'm giving you these examples. So if you, if you, if you can relate to them, you can know where you are a little bit. Severe aches and pains. Those who were listening to CNN would have seen uh, Chris Cobo talking about his battle with COVID. And he talks about all these. Severe sore throat. Sometimes in COVID, but very common in cold and flu. Sore throat is common in cold and flu, but not so common in COVID. Fatigue. Sometimes you get fatigue. Other symptoms you get are diarrhea, which is rare. A runny nose is there, but you do not sneeze. So these are the symptoms, and I would like to talk to you about these symptoms. So you can understand, if this happened to you, you can see where you are. So what are the transmission routes? And this is what we have to be. We have to be sure about this. What, how we can transmit this? We can transmit this by physical droplets, shaking hands. Try not to shake anyone's hands during this time. What you do? You do namaste. The old Hindu greeting. Join your hands together. You saw Prince Charles? He was going to shake hands to somebody. And what did they do? The person did this. So he did that too. But he does not say anything. But what we say? We say that God be with you. I bow to that divinity which is in you. That is it with me. That is Namaste. So avoid shaking hands. Avoid going close to one another. Keep a distance of six feet. What, how does this COVID is transmitted? It's transmitted by airborne droplets. See someone is coughing? Be careful at this time. If you, look, if you see them, or even from far, even from far, if you see them, tell them to cough into their sleeve or put something on their face. It's good to wear a mask now when you're going out. The mask is not there to protect you as such, but it's to prevent a person who has COVID from transmitting it to you via his droplets. So airborne droplets, and these airborne droplets, I would like you to remember this, is viable for three hours. Three hours. It's viable for three hours. And then, if you, if someone has COVID and they cough a lot, that airspace has about, has, will have this virus for about three hours. If you inadvertently walk through this airspace, even after the COVID patient has gone, you can inhale the virus. So powerful it is. You get what I'm saying? The person cough, he's gone. In that space, that airspace, it has the virus still. Surface droplets. They can cough on your on iron, on steel, and for it's viable for up to two to three days in stainless steel to plastic. Three, two to three days, stainless steel, plastic, and cardboard. And for some people who, uh, when they go to the washroom, if they don't clean their hands properly, it is on feces also. So, so the transmission routes, routes, in summary, physical contact, airborne droplets, surface droplets, and feces. Then we have to use our common sense. We must wash our hands after touching surface. I want to say something about the washing of the hands. You can't just wash your hands with water. You have to wash according to the study of John Hopkins University, which we are putting on our website. I would like you to look at it. According to that study, you just have to wash with water only. You have to wash with soap because the so you put the 
lot of soap on your hands. Wash it out. And then, because that soap breaks the fatty layer around the virus. Water does not break it. Water may wash it out, maybe, but if it's stuck to your hand, the soap will break the, the fatty layer around the virus and will make it inactive. So you must wash with soap. Again, I repeat. Some of us, I see people just washing their hands with water. That is not enough. You have to wash with soap. You must, if you're coughing or sneezing, please cover your face. And please remember, social distancing. Stay as far as stay at home. As I said last week, you may ask, I'm a physician and what am I doing here? But we are trying to maintain social distance. There are only three of us. We are keeping far apart, except the two of them are close by there now. We are keeping far apart. Social distancing is most important. So what are some of the natural defenses your body knows and what to do? The next slide will show you. You have to strengthen your, strengthen your immune system. Strengthen your immune system. You know what is a good way of strengthening your immune system? Fasting. Intermittent fasting. You fast for 12 hours or you fast for 24 hours. It really strengthens your immune system. And something's called autophagy, which I spoke to you about, A-U-T-O-P-H-A-G-Y, where the cells clean out the dead cells themselves. That comes by fasting. So this is your natural body defense. Strengthen your immune system by fasting. Try to relieve your stress. But this is the time when we have the most stress. We have the most stress now. Good sleep. We must have good sleep. Try to move. Try to exercise. Try to do what is known as pranayam. Breathe in. Keep your lungs active. Stretch out those alveoli. Alveoli means it's little sacs in your lungs. And eat good food. When you eat good food, it will give you the strength to go against this virus. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, you must use. Zinc, you must use. But zinc will destroy the virus. But I just read and maybe you should take the advice of your doctors before you use this drug called chloroquine, which you've, you've heard so much about. Chloroquine allows the zinc to go into the cell. According to scientists, chloroquine allows the zinc of itself, does not permeate the cell. But the chloroquine plus the zinc, it goes into the cell to fight the virus. When you do these things, these preventative measures, you can help yourself to get out of the state of COVID. I would like to, I hope you will remember these things, and maybe you, you can go to our website, 